Welcome to Quantum Analyst, your source for quantum computing stock investing. In recent developments, one of IONQ's top executives has decided to step down from her position after a mere 1.5 years tenure, leaving investors and stakeholders curious about the reasons behind her departure. Notably, her 2022 compensation amounted to approximately $5 million, adding an extra layer of intrigue to this move. In this video, we'll analyze the timeline of her short tenure at IONQ and discuss about the potential implications and next steps for the company. Stay tuned! On August 10, 2023, IONQ issued the following statement. On August 9, 2023, Lori Babinski, the company's general counsel and corporate secretary, notified the company that she has made the decision to step down from her position, effective as of August 16, 2023. The company expects to enter into a separation agreement with Ms. Babinski, pursuant to which Ms. Babinski would remain an employee for a period of time to assist in the transition of her duties, as may be requested from time to time. Interestingly, the statement refrained from revealing the specific reason behind her departure. Notably, the short notice period of just one week from August 9 to August 16 raises questions about the preparedness of this transition. The reference to a forthcoming separation agreement implies that it might not have been planned in advance. As per IONQ's public filing on March 31, 2022, Ms. Babinski officially joined the company on March 28, 2022. This addition brought IONQ's executive team to a total of five members, comprising Peter Chapman, serving as President and CEO Jung Sang Kim, holding the position of Chief Technology Officer Christopher Monroe, fulfilling the role of Chief Scientist Thomas Kramer, acting as Chief Financial Officer Lori Babinski, appointed as General Counsel and Secretary Remarkably, among the executive team, Ms. Babinski, at the age of 40, was the youngest. It's noteworthy to understand that the roles of general counsel and secretary within a public company, although distinct, are equally vital. The general counsel assumes the role of the company's chief legal officer, providing legal guidance and counsel, while the secretary is responsible for ensuring strict compliance with all legal and regulatory obligations. Together, these roles play a pivotal function in the seamless operation of a public company. Ms. Babinski was greeted with great esteem. In the first quarterly report of 2022 filed by the company, under the Business and Technical Highlights section, the company proudly stated, hired world-class talent, with key positions filled by Lori Babinski as general counsel and secretary. According to IONQ's public filings on April 28, 2023, and April 4, 2022, upon starting her employment with the company, Ms. Babinski received a comprehensive new hire package, which included 120,000 shares of common stock and 210,000 units of employee stock options. According to the company's public filing dated April 28, 2023, Ms. Babinski was listed as one of the two other most highly compensated executive officers other than the CEO. Her annual total compensation during the fiscal year 2022 amounted to $4,974,632. This compensation package included approximately $2.5 million from stock awards and about $2.1 million from option awards. How could it impact IONQ, the company, and its investors, and what's next? Here are my thoughts. Number 1. Investor confidence. The abrupt exit of a top executive with only 1.5 years tenure and without a clear reason is definitely not a positive message for investors. It naturally leads to speculation about internal issues, disagreements, instability, dysfunction, or other concerns. Number 2. Legal and Regulatory Impact The roles of general counsel and corporate secretary are crucial for ensuring the company's compliance with legal and regulatory requirements. Their departure may create a temporary gap in overseeing legal matters, compliance, and corporate governance. This could potentially result in legal and regulatory challenges if not managed effectively. Notably, IONQ is still involved in a shareholder class lawsuit, and the departure of the general counsel may disrupt legal oversight continuity. Number 3. Short Notice. Ms. Babinski's departure with only one week's notice, and the absence of an announced replacement, 
may lead to disruptions and transition costs associated with recruiting and onboarding a new general counsel, corporate secretary. The duration of this process remains uncertain. Overall, the abrupt departure of a key executive is a cause for concern. From an investor's perspective, it is hoped that IONQ will address this issue smoothly, find a replacement promptly, and ensure a seamless transition. That concludes today's video. Please leave any comments or feedback below. If you feel you've learned something new, please like and subscribe. Your support is greatly appreciated and will help me continue creating content. Thank you.